Good evening, guys, and I'm back with one more session of Growth Talks. And this time, I have Mr. Chetan Hiramat. He is the guy who he is the guy behind the successful campaigns for Royal Challengers Bangalore, Bangalore Traffic Police, and right now he is currently heading the campaign for One Plus India. Okay, hi Chetan. Hey, hi. Man. Welcome to the show. So basically, you did a fab event right now. How do you feel about the event? How was the event? I think, dude, I think it's amazing. Uh, you know, considering it's a Sunday and uh, you know so many people are showing up on a Sunday. Uh, like I don't think I would have done this. Uh, and to you know, and to get to meet so many young minds just like me, it's it's incredible. Crazy, crazy. It's really good. So, so guys, I'm very proud to announce that now Chetan is also a part of Growth Folks community. So, yeah. Chetan. How it feels to be a part of this uh, growing community and about this idea? No, like I said, so it's it's incredible. Uh, you know, even uh, uh, sometime uh, some time ago, we spoke about uh, how we never say no to an opportunity or to a meeting, right? Uh, when someone calls you to meet, we say, yeah, why not? Just come and meet us. True. It might have not happen on the same time, the same day, but you know, sometime later. Uh, you know, but but this is this is exactly that. You know, when you when you guys ask me to come over and talk, uh, you know, I thought it's going to be like a one way thing where I will talk and they'll listen because you know this way. I'm not learning anything, right? Yeah. But after the session, you know, when I got to meet so many people, yeah. and you know, all the ideas that they have and their startups, right? Uh, this is incredible, man. Like I don't, I think uh, I'm, I'm very lucky. Thank you so much for inviting me, actually, right? Pleasure is good. All of us. So uh, glad that you liked it. Uh, okay, fine. So if you have to describe growth hacking in just one word, what it would be? Like? Possible. Okay, that's a good answer. Yeah. Okay. And okay, fine. Moving to the next question. Uh, what according to you is a viral post? Uh, like according to you, what is uh, there in a post that can make it viral? Couple of reasons. Uh, I think uh, see something is trending today. Okay. Right? Uh, using that, uh, using that, relating your content to that, mm -hmm. right, is is one of the easiest ways to make anything viral because you know something is already trending. Like for example, uh, uh, there was this one thing. Okay, maybe maybe you know what? Uh, I will let me just go ahead and tell you the uh, what do you say uh, the ingredients okay. for a viral okay. post. Right, we can we can we can club that here. Uh, so there was this one time when uh, ClearTrip were being accused uh, of a lot of uh, you know uh, there's a lot of hate for ClearTrip on Twitter okay. because uh, you know people were accusing accusing them of hidden charges right okay. so then uh, of course we work with ClearTrip uh, we don't do content for them anymore but uh, back in the day we did and uh, so they asked us you know listen we've got to make a post uh, like a disclaimer kind of thing where uh, we announce uh, to all of our users online that we don't cheat people right you know we uh, there are no hidden charges right mm -hmm. now we could have directly just gone ahead and said uh, we could have made a post of like a very boring text thing with a disclaimer that listen we don't do this right okay. we don't cheat okay. customers uh, but that would just be like adding fire to the uh, you know just, that would just be like adding uh, you know fuel to the fire right uh, people wouldn't have given two shit about this right okay. the only way that we could uh, you know, make something viral mm -hmm. was using a current trend. So back then, Rithik Roshan and Kangana Ranaut had a bad breakup, mm -hmm. right? So we used that, okay. right? Uh, what we did was uh, Kangana Ranaut. Uh, this is a video going viral on Facebook about mm -hmm. Kangana Ranaut attending this Aapki Adalat, yeah. right? The show, <clears throat> and uh, you know, she was uh, basically talking about her relationship with Rithik Roshan, and you know, people were either appreciating it or you know, uh, you know, making fun of it, mocking her, mm -hmm. whatever the reason is, man, right? But it was trending, so we used that. In order to pass a message to all the clear truck users that listen, uh, you know we don't uh, there are no hidden charges. What we did was we uh, we sketched out Kangana Ranaut right in the exact same costume she was wearing uh, at the Arke Dalat show in the same stand she's sitting there right. So you know obviously there are no copyright issues nothing because anyone can look like that right. And then we said uh, the copy on the artwork was uh, no hidden charges clear breakup. Clear right and that went viral overnight. So I think one of the easiest ways to make something viral is. Catch something that's already trending. Okay, so related to it. if I can shorten it a bit, probably it's like this uh, thing that is trending right now is the key behind getting a post viral. Absolutely, I think it's, it's one of the easiest ways. I mean, there are so many other factors, but hmm. the easiest way is this: dude. whatever is more relatable to people, hmm. right? That's the word, man. If it's not relatable, you know, it's not going to trend. Perfect. So, do you feel that is there any different ways of getting viral on different platforms, or it's just like that one common thing <coughs> can make you uh, viral on different platforms? Yeah. Again, the answer can differ from people to people and can differ from brands to brands. Right? Okay. Uh, with respect to Bangalore City Police, the same content. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, about two yeah, years ago, yeah. where I didn't know much about social media, right? Um, uh, you know, relatively, I think I know more now. Uh, but back in the day, we were putting up the same content on all the three platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, right? And it was going viral, well, right? But then came a time we started working with some serious brands, right? And we understood that the audience for Twitter is different, okay? Right? It's more on the intellectual side, more on the funny copies, you know, more on the smart, more on the you know proper uh, pronunciation, you know, and the way you present it with your copies. Uh, 
uh, sentence structure and all of that, right? Making you look cool at the same time making you look smart, right? But Instagram is all about today. Instagram is all about aesthetics and like I said, visually, visually appealing stuff is what works on Instagram. And Facebook road sab chalta hai Facebook. I think uh, yeah, it's one of the widest uh, platforms, right? And I think uh, no one should take it lightly. Right? Okay, yeah. perfect. So uh, let's talk about this year. So what do you think? What are the easiest channel for 2019, like in order to grow a brand? What do you think a brand should look up to on which uh, platforms? So again, uh, all three social media platforms are equally important, right? Okay. Uh, but depends depends the scale of your business, right? Mm-hmm. Like if you're a I don't know if you're like a pub owner, if you're a F&B industry, if you're on a big restaurant, a chain of restaurants. I don't think Twitter can do anything for you, right? Uh, you know, for someone like you, I think Instagram is your main key, right? At the same time, say you're a news outlet or you're a media outlet, right? I think Twitter is where it probably work. I mean, Facebook will work for every stream, right? True. Right? Facebook will work for absolutely any stream, from automobile to anything, right? If you like, I don't know, carpets, biscuits, whatever you want to sell, I think Facebook is still there. But again, uh, you want to narrow it down to uh, you know what your actual uh, you know uh, uh, the forty of your business is like. For example, F and B, or if you're a fashion brand, mm-hmm. Instagram. If you're something something to do with smart audience, like I said, yeah, that has to be on Twitter, man, right? And do you think any one platform that can make a difference in any brand strategy campaigns? Like right now, you were talking about Facebook, you were talking about Twitter and Instagram. Is there any uh, X X brand or X platform that you think can be a game changer? X, X platform as in uh, you got to be a little more specific. What do you mean? X, uh, if I talk about uh, like uh, if we are talking about food industry, mm-hmm. do you think being present on Zomato or probably Pinterest is going to help mm-hmm. them? See, visibility wise, I tell you what. Something called as uh, we do we do work for discovery purposes, right? Uh, which is why people set up a website. You now people set up a lot of things to be found, to be discovered, right? I think for those purposes, it's working out, you know. But again, it all boils down to. Two things. One is if you're a product, how good your product is. If you're a service, how good your service is. Right. If that is not good, right. I don't think dude, being present anywhere or hiring an agency like me or you know someone better, much better, it's not gonna work. Okay. It's not gonna work, and platforms don't matter, dude. I think the number one thing for you is so that was fine, Swiggy is fine, all the all the places are fine, only for your discovery purposes, right. Uh, yeah, but you know, I I really don't. I would never suggest uh, you know a client to you know depend on it. Right, just be like, "Huh, these tomato pills are gone, so like, now the work will go, business will go." It won't work, right? Because true. like the restaurant people are now moving out of the restaurant mall; they move into cloud kitchen. Right, people are moving to cloud kitchen because you know, like, people have stopped coming. True, right? So, so uh, I don't know. Perfect, perfect. This was insightful. Okay, so Chetan, any last words or tips for the aspiring growth hackers to like? What do you want to say to these people? <coughs> I think see, uh, like honestly, right? Uh, I had to Google what growth hacking is. By the way, right? I'm being very honest, right? Okay. I mean, you keep hearing this term over and over again, right? Uh, you know, rather than rather than you know understanding what growth growth hacking is, we focused on what I want to do, right? So, so today, before you know, uh, before I got here to talk about uh, growth hacking and everything, right? Uh, one thing is very clear, right? I am a growth hacker because what would have taken me five years, I did it in a year. Right. Now that is exactly what growth hacking is. I only found out about it today. Right. So there's absolutely no problem. If you guys don't know what growth hacking is, trust me, it's perfectly fine. That's what Google for. Right. Uh, things like this is what you Google. You need to understand because it's already there. Uh, you don't need to like mug it or buy hard it and be like, you know, let me become a growth hacker today. It'll happen naturally. Uh, what you need to do again is to meet a lot of people. Uh, you know, uh, network. Right. Just by sending emails out to like big clients, you will not be noticed. Uh, it's more of a process. Absolutely, it's, it's a process. And like I said, so you have to go out. You have to meet new people. There is, you know, never say no to a meeting. Please okay. never say no to a meeting. And that's one of the bigger learnings, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the last three four years. Always take a meeting because, like, uh, one of my colleagues said, uh, out of ninety nine, uh, out of hundred, maybe like ninety nine meetings are waste. But that one meeting could change your life. It did for me. Crazy. Right. Crazy. So thanks, Chetan. Thanks for being a Thank part so of much, this man. road talk. Yeah. Guys, so I'll see you next time with some another big short guy. Thanks, Chetan, for being here. Thank you. See you next time. See you.